Hey you guys, before we get started with this video, I wanna do a really, really important announcement or two. Uh, it's not gonna to be too long, but please, please bear with me when I go through this. Down in the description, there's going to be a link to a uh, fundraiser, a GoFundMe page for my best friend. Uh, I will put a picture of her up on the screen now. Uh, her name is Liz. Um, she is an avid skydiver uh, and you know, just all around amazing girl. She is my best friend in the whole world and she was just in a skydiving accident and she ended up breaking one of the bones in her back and she needs spinal surgery. As of right now the surgery is done uh, and it was successful. Hopefully there's no complications after this but obviously going on right now is the whole virus stuff. A lot of people are struggling financially. I'm not sure if her family is one of them i'm not i'm not going to get into their financial situation or anything but what i would like to do is help raise money to ease the pain of the financial stuff on their end in case they do need it if you have the ability to and you're if you're financially capable of helping out and you want to go down there and donate anything that you feel would be helpful uh, i highly encourage that uh, if you're not in the financial position to do so, please do not feel obligated. I'm not trying to put anybody in a tough position. This is just a trying to help out as a best friend uh, type thing. Uh, if they do not need it, then what I plan to do with the money is gather it all together and then give it either to her personally uh, for whatever she wants to do or basically put it all together to buy a really, really nice like special surprise or special gift. Uh, that's really meaningful that I can, you know, get her and kind of help her lift her spirits and, and push through this really difficult time that's going to be coming up here. So on the second note, we are almost at 10,000 subscribers at this current time. I think we're actually officially under 900 away from 10,000 subscribers. Uh, and at 10,000 subscribers, I will be taking questions to do a Q&A, like a questions video. Uh, so anything that you guys want to ask me, I'll be gathering questions from here, as well as over on my Instagram, which will also be linked down in the description below if you want to go ask questions over there. Whether that's like a live stream or just like a regular YouTube video, I'm not sure yet, but I will be doing that. So if you guys want to know anything about me, please do not hesitate to leave a question. Uh, and I will gather them all up and try to answer them. But please do not make your question something like, when are you going to react to this video? Or when are you going to react to this video? I have so many requests for so many videos that I can't even keep them all straight. So questions like that, not really gonna have a regular answer. It's just gonna be, I'll get to it when I get to it. But try to make your questions something really interesting or something that you really truly wanna know or that you may think other people wanna know. With all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoy these videos and uh, let's try to get to 10,000 subscribers and then let's try to meet the goal on the fundraiser down below, hopefully even surpass it. Just anything helps that you got. Uh, I will be donating some of my own money as well. Uh, and for those of you who cannot donate or you, you don't feel that you can donate, all you have to do is just is help me share it around and just help get it out there for people to see and potentially be able to help out. So without further ado, let's get into the video, guys. Thank you so much for paying attention. What is up, you guys? Matthew from Boosted Reviews here. And thank you for those of you who made it through that intro there. I know it was a little bit of a lengthy intro, but it was really, really important to me. So if you missed it, make sure to go back and check it out if you want to. Uh, but today, we're going to do something a little bit different. It's supposed to be Metal Monday, but we're going to mix it up a little bit this week and do a full week of just a mosh. Mainly because I feel like I need to lift my spirits a little bit, um, as well as there's a lot of Dimash lovers on my channel right now. And I really just feel like I need to do Dimash this whole week. For all of my Dimash deers out there, it is a Monday, Wednesday, Friday Dimash week for you guys. Um, we will get back into the Nightwish, we will get back into the Ginger, we will get back into the everything else uh, next week and on, I promise. But this week it's all about Dimash, uh, and for this one here, it's going to be Your Love. A lot of people requested this song, uh, the next ones coming up are also going to be ones that are very, very highly requested. I think this one's in English, which I believe will be the first time that I hear him in English. But as always with Dimash, please, 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 please go watch the original performance before you watch my reaction and my review to this uh, because I will pause a lot and I want you guys to get the full experience of the song if you have not already heard it. So that being said, go follow me on Instagram at Boosted Reviews. 
follow me down below and click that subscribe button as well. Like the video if you like the video. Share it with all your friends and family and share it on all of your Dimash fan pages and across the internets. And let's get all of the Dimash fans in on this video here as well as the rest of the ones from this week's. That is a very bright red suit. Already standing out really well color contrast with that really nice blue backdrop. Really, really nice. Very pretty stage too, very deep. Oh, he's even got the little, the little fan blowing his hair and everything. Already starting off very breathy. Do you recall? Nothing was dangerous. We had the strange to leave our streams to feed our souls. I like here in the background, uh, there's like this little I mean I'm sure there's an orchestra here. Uh, they might just be off stage or they might be backstage, one of the two. But I hear this little, some type of string instrument, not sure if it's a violin, viola, cello, something like that. Uh, but there's a little, little pluck, 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 pluck going on in the background with the string instrument. I At some parts here. Here. The times we were, we eh, pretty cool. Just a little ding, 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 ding. Nothing was dangerous. We had this dream. And he's almost in that vocal fry range again, like he has been a couple times now. Oh, there it is. Wow. That's already such a transition. His English is very good. His English is really, really good. I was expecting to hear a lot more of an accent. Um, I think I've read somewhere in the, in the comments that in his older stuff, uh, like back in like the singer competition, that his English wasn't as good. Uh, but it was still like really impressive. Um, but I've, I've heard that I think he's gotten a lot better uh, and this looks a little bit more recent than the singer videos, so this might be, you know, him being better at English. But really, really surprisingly good English so far. Uh, and then just that breathy tone that he's got going on in this first little section of the song here. Really, really, really beautiful. Very emotional. Where do you leave? Okay. What do you do at night? Now we're adding in the power. Do you still care? Do you still share? Much more full vocals now. That sounds like he's he's singing over his own backtrack. I think he created his own backtrack for that little part there. Oh, wow. Man, I love that wind effect going on. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I feel like it's about to get crazy. Let's just talk for a moment about a couple things here. I'm going to try to do it in order so I don't have to rewind. But when he picks up the vocals here, notice, notice the background lighting. Just brightens up, brightens up along with that vocal now. Because the vocal just got a lot brighter and a lot more full and powerful there and the background lighting just kind of like lit up there to kind of accentuate that. 
And now it's really interesting because you see here in the background, like the very, very background, uh, it's very dark blue, very, very dark blue. And then he's in this bright red suit. And it's interesting how the accent lighting of the stage, like these kind of things over here by, I think it's Igor again. So over here by Igor, these, these background areas here, they're very purple, almost like a mixture of his bright red suit and the really deep blue in the background. And it's just a nice blend of the two colors and it kind of it kind of pulls the stage together with lighting. Man. Again with the lights. That note there. Wow. Do you know how difficult it is to come from a low note like he had been there like that now and then just come up? through that progression and then to just randomly hold this little note and then slide out and just tap that random high note there that higher like mixed ish voice note and then just come back how like perfectly placed that has to be because he didn't slide out to it it wasn't like a uh, it wasn't like a slide out it was like a uh, ba, ba, and it's just very just Mm, you have to nail that note if you're gonna just like tap out there like that. That was fantastic. Man, he even leaned into it. Love it. Nice camera shot. I love that shot right there. Where it's, it's, it's now pivoted the camera behind him. You now have Dimash dead center looking at him from the back with the big bright spotlight right over him just perfectly centered and he just opens himself up just like this just opens himself up and you just get to see the entire crowd everyone's eyes directly on him oh key change <laughs> that body positioning. Look at that body positioning. Just leaning into that. Uh, leaning into that note. Full commitment. Well, now we're into some operatic stuff here. A little more classical. It was poppy, but now it's more classical. <laughs> Woo! Oh, key change. Oh, and you got the nice orange lights up there and everything. Man. And again, that perfectly placed note that he just hit there again. He just went out and just, mm, bah, like, just pinpointed that note. Man. And look at the look at the positioning he has here. When he goes back to that really low note. He just takes this really wide stance and just, mm, just going to ground that note. Really just love how he's performing with this song, too. I know, I know I've always kind of commented on how he uses his hands and his body in his songs, but in this song here, I just, I love you, the emotion and like the commitment to these notes that he's kind of using here with this body positioning and just kind of the, just the power on that, what, when he like goes down there, just, mm. and then those bright orange lights in the, in the top there that just, just light up with his voice. Are you kidding? This man is going to dance. He's just gonna he's just gonna hop around and dance like it's nothing. Like he's just like frolicking through a field. 
This man is hitting unbelievable vocal notes. And he's just gonna act like this is the easiest thing on the planet. There's not even any, there's not even any vocal breakups or not even any pitch change or anything with him bouncing up and down like that. He is pitch perfect with fantastic vibrato the entire way through that and he's oscillating his body on the stage while holding that note and ah. Oh. Another key change. Down to his knees. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so notice how he's coming up with these vocals now and this kind of like like raising like da -na -na. like he's coming up in these vocals here and the lights are also coming up with his voice as kind of a presentation. And you can see the warmth of the stage has changed uh, just by the color of the audience. But look at those lights come up with it. Oh my goodness. And then just, just, Power pose. Just power pose. I am, again, at a loss for words. So many things. Fantastic song. I think that might be my favorite song of his that I've heard. That was incredible. Uh, loved the flow of the song. Loved all... The, I mean, there was so many... There was like four key changes in that song. If I'm recalling correct, I think there was like four key changes in that song. And he just, uh, and I loved the color usage. I loved the stage design. I loved the instrumentals in the background. His vocals were insane. That's the first time I've heard him in English. And it was fantastic. The only like critique really that I have about his English is I noticed whenever he would try to say the word lives, he would say, he would say like leaves. It would kind of take a different vowel sound, which I'm assuming is just accent, you know, just, you know, language barrier accent type things. But pretty much all the rest of his English was almost spot on. I mean, that was fantastic. Anyway, guys, that was Your Love by Dimash. That was probably the most requested song I had in the comments. Uh, coming up next, I think I'm going to do Hello, uh, which I think is a Lionel Richie cover. So I'm really interested to hear about that, which I think that'll be in English too, or it should be. So maybe maybe if that's from the singer competition, I'll get to hear the, the accent change. If you guys enjoyed, please hit like. Uh, really, really helps the video and share it on all your Facebook pages, all your, all your Instagrams and, and whatever you got going on. Uh, it really, really does help out the channel. If you guys want to go down to the description, if you have the time and check out the GoFundMe that I set up for my friend that was in her accident skydiving. Uh, please, please go check that out. Uh, and then if you could share that around and stuff and, and just help me out there, that would be fantastic. So uh, I will catch you guys on the official Whoa oh My Gosh Dimash Wednesday. Uh, but then we're also going to have another one on Friday as well. So triple threat Dimash this week. Mocha's excited, but she's sleeping right now. But you can, you can trust me. I think she's pretty excited about it also. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Have a great day.